Yeah. You all right, Austin? Dizzy. Dizzy. Okay, so quick update from the doctor. He wants to run a bunch of tests. He wants to do some blood work. He wants to do an EKG on Austin's heart. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I am taking Austin to the doctor's office to find out why he keeps getting super dizzy and passing out. A few weeks ago when we were in California at my sister's house, he did full on pass out. And so we've been super worried about it and concerned. And since we've been home, he's had a few spells of where he's just super dizzy, doesn't feel good. So he's headed to the doctor today. We're gonna hopefully find out why and see what's going on with him. It feels like we've spent a significant amount of time in the doctor's offices the last two weeks between flu shots and well checks and, <laughs> and now this. So we're just really hoping for some answers. It's kind of scary as a parent to have it happen and not know what is going on. So praying that we get some answers today. You all right, Austin? Dizzy? Okay, so quick update from the doctor. He wants to run a bunch of tests. He wants to do some blood work. He wants to do an EKG on Austin's heart. He is going to send us to a cardiologist on the 19th to um, run some tests on his heart as well. Make sure that there's no heart murmur or an arrhythmia or just anything like that going on with his heart. He's concerned that his brain is not getting enough blood flow and oxygen from his heart. And so that's what's making him um, lightheaded and pass out. So we're gonna run all these tests, hopefully rule out that there's any sort of um, irregular valve or anything like that going on with his heart and get some answers. They should know within a couple of days with the blood test and the EKG what's going on and if those look good. <clears throat> Another thing they're thinking that might be is he might be anemic, which is kind of where your blood does not have enough iron in it, which I have, so it could be a genetic thing. Hopefully that would be like the simplest fix. They just put him on an iron supplement and and then he's he would be good so we're gonna run into the hospital we're just waiting for them to get back from lunch we're gonna run in there they're gonna do the blood test they're gonna do the ekg today and we will know in a couple days the results from that Sorry. And then just hold real still. That's all it does? That's it. Yeah. Wow. So it's just, uh, we look at 15 different parts of the heart there. So each one of those is a different section. Oh. Interesting. That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> We've made it home from the doctor. They told us to wait about 24 to 40 hours for those results to come back. I'm super anxious to get those back. I'm hoping for some answers, um, even though I'm a little bit nervous of what they're going to say. But I have a feeling he's going to be fine. He's healthy. But there is also that underlying issue of, okay, why is this happening? So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get some answers. If not, then um, hopefully the cardiologist will have some answers for us when we go to him on the 19th. Um, now that I'm home, I'm going to start working on dinner. The weather has turned off freezing cold. The wind is just blowing like crazy. So I'm thinking it's a great night for some soup, maybe some chili and scones. Not quite sure yet, but I'm gonna start whipping up some dinner and um, help the kids with their homework. Hey everybody, I was uh, working a little bit late today, but just got home, had some dinner, and uh, the girls were begging to go to Fizz to try the Bingham's new drinks. Are you guys excited? Yes. What are they called? Bingham, Bash, and Berry Bingham? Mm -hmm. You guys know what's in them? Um, candy, ice cream, raspberry, cranberry, Dr. Pepper, raspberry. Wow. So the ice cream one is Bingham Bash, and the Dr. Pepper one is Berry Bingham. Yeah. Man, those sound amazing. I may have to try one of those. 
I know the girls are definitely getting one. I am more of a brown cow kind of guy. It's got vanilla, it's got root beer, it may have the butterscotch. Uh, that is my go-to drink. They might have a cowtail drink for you. <laughs> we could get your own cowtail drink. I'm gonna, yes, that's the a great Mc, idea. The, the Mc Terry McNeil cowtail <laughs> drink. Terry's a cow. It's a little long. I mean, we might want to try to shorten that up a little bit. I you put uh, me on the spot. I'll have to think about it. I'll come up with something. I, I thought about it. So, um, girls, what else are you guys gonna get? You guys are gonna get a macaron? Macaron ma and nachos. Or macaron. I'm not quite sure how to say that word. Everyone says macaroon, but there's only one O. Is it macaron? Is it macaroon? Do you know? Nobody knows. I've heard it both ways. I say macaroon. macaroon. There, it's only one it's O in there. Macaron. I don't know. Macaron, macaroon. We're it's gonna have. Mac it, the, the correct word is macaron, but if you want to say it short, it's macaroon. Oh, if you want to say it short. Oh. So you add extra letters <laughs> if you want to say the word short. That's just a tip. No, it's just easy. Tip of the day from Carmen. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we need a 24 of the Bingham Bash. Hopefully it's good. So our Bingham Bash only comes in a 16 ounce. Oh, yeah, okay? totally fine. Carmen, what do you want? Um, I want a berry Bingham. Uh, we need another 16 ounce berry Bingham. So we need a nacho cheese. Four salted caramel. The chips and nacho cheese. Four salted caramel macarons. It's so bad that he, we ordered like a ton of macarons. I know, I told him, I said you could pay for some, and he's like, no, I'll do all of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a stud that guy is. All right, you guys, so Brandon Bingham was in front of us in the line here at Fizz, and we just pulled up the window to pay for our order, and he paid for the whole thing. Brandon, if you're watching this video, <laughs> thank you. Honestly, you did not have to do that. We ordered a ton of stuff. We have a lot of friends at home with the boys and we all got a lot of stuff, so. We've ate out for less money <laughs> than what we just spent on treats. It, it, oh uh, my so. gosh. We have, the boys have a ton of friends at our house right now, so we, we had to order a bunch to try to make sure everybody has some, so. <laughs> Brandon's probably like, holy crap, what's wrong with these guys? Oh but, my gosh, so, so but, nice of him to do uh, that for us. <laughs> Brandon, you're the man. We Thank cannot you. wait to try these Bingham drinks, so we hope they're delicious. <laughs> Yeah. Oh guys, look how nice this is. Oh, there's the Bingham Bash. Mm. How yeah. is it? That is delicious. Delicious? All right, girls, now that you've tried them, what is your opinion? Christmas and cotton candy. Christmas and cotton candy. How is it, Claire? Good. You like it? Which one do you like better? I like that one better. So Carmen likes the Berry Bingham better. Yeah. I like that one a little bit better, but this one's really good. We are back from Fizz. Everyone has had a chance to try the Bingham drinks. Terry here is going to give her professional opinion. <laughs> I'm a professional <laughs> drink tester. Yes, you are. <laughs> so the Dr. Pepper one was probably my favorite. I love their um, Very Bad Doctor that they have. And so the Dr. Pepper one was right up my alley. The cotton candy one was super good. It's a little bit sweet, but the girls loved it, of course. So. If you love sweet and love cotton candy, that one's for you. If you're more of a Dr. Pepper fan with um, the raspberry and stuff in it, it's it's really good. Awesome. It was uh, super funny to pull up to order the Bingham drinks and have the Binghams right in front of us. <laughs> and so, saw the top of his truck, crazy. got close, and for sure it was like, okay, that's Brandon. <laughs> we rolled down our window and he was ordering his own drinks. And so, <laughs> it was very uh, nice of them, very generous of them to uh, pay for our uh, drinks. We had a lot. Had a lot of macarons and so yes super great very, people very nice. we are anxious to hear back from the uh, the doctor on what uh, austin's uh, lab reports say we're hoping that it's uh, nothing too serious and that's uh, something that we can just easily fix with the medication or just changing something so it's always a little nerve-wracking when you go into the doctor for something you don't really know but uh we're hopeful that it'll be uh, something easy yes it's been a little bit emotional you know like they said it's you just don't know what's going on with them and you're kind of at the mercy of the doctors and the tests and hopefully you find some answers. There's nothing more frustrating than when you run a bunch of tests and everything's just like, well, nothing's wrong. But yet he has the symptom of passing out and feeling lightheaded a lot. So something in my opinion is wrong. So I'm just hopeful that there is some sort of answer at the end of all this that it's not just, we don't know. So 
think it's it might be this redneck lifestyle that he's taken on recently. <laughs> like too much redneck at one time is causing him to pass out. What do you think? I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we will get it figured out. We will let you guys know what the doctors tell us. So we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.